and I promise you I am a nice little hot marshmallow going out in the snow. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cindy and today I want to share my winter coat collection. I'm actually really excited about this one because I love every single one of my winter coats. Winter coats was never something that I was very much into until I found the right ones. For the past five years, I actually haven't bought a single winter coat because I'm so happy with my collection and I really hope that this will benefit you. If you're sitting here not knowing what coat that you need to get, why you don't love your coat, why you find them maybe out of date very quickly, I really hope this video helps you and essentially Actually, all you need is five winter coats. Well, technically four, but the fifth ones are bonus if there's something that's still missing for you. A very quick disclaimer, you are by no means expected to purchase all of them in one go. Let's get into it. One thing I do also have to know is that I will not be telling you exactly what to be buying because everyone has different bodies. I will be sharing where I got my coats, where I buy them, what style looks like, because that is for me. But what I have that suits me might not be the type that suits you. The same thing how the things that you absolutely love might not be the things that I absolutely love. And that's perfectly okay. The whole idea is that you get what's right for you. So number one, and I think it's the very first one that you should ever get, is a classic coat. And like I said, your definition of classic is very different from my definition of classic. My definition of classic is a long coat that I can wear to work and I could wear it to see my friends, I can go out and I don't look scruffy, I look put together. I am not overly dressed, I am not bringing attention to me. It is a timeless low key coat. So for me, that coat is this it's a long trench coat and that's another thing as well make sure that every single coat you buy please please check the materials check the composition don't be going out there buying polyester it's not going to keep you warm trust me this is the one thing my mum taught me when I was very young if you're gonna get it get it right and get the proper materials so this is the one that I bought and this is the very first kind of coat I bought for myself. This one is from Hobbs. I got this in a size eight. It is long. It is all the way to roughly my calves and it's a thick wool coat. It is single breasted and it also comes with a waistband. It is relatively tailored. As you can see, it does have like those darts. You can see I've worn it so many times that it's even kind of discolored. I've tried to wash it out and uh, slightly having some issues, but I might have to take it to a dry cleaner at some point. It has pockets because I do love pockets. I do think a classic coat, you need some sort of comfort, some level of comfort, but look together something that is versatile I could wear this with a dress I could wear it with jeans I could wear it with tailored trousers it covers pretty much my whole look so it's relatively easy to pair just to give you guys an idea this coat is made out of 61% wool 39% polyester the lining obviously is 58% polyester 42% viscose rayon and that's pretty much it so it is mainly wool and this particular coat I got it from Hobbs also when it comes to the classic style you want to go for your favorite neutral color so that could be a black that could be a beige that could be a camel that could be gray just something that you really love you're able to wear it with anything it color coordinates with your wardrobe now you've got your classic coat a coat that you can wear in every single occasion we're going to move on to coat number two which we're going to go to the complete opposite end which is the casual coat and this my friends is my casual coat i actually love this so much so for me a casual is a proper puffer jacket for you it might be a leather jacket just to give you an idea as long as it's a casual setting you can wear jeans you can wear to some extent tracksuit bottoms if you really really want but you can wear leggings you can get away with a lot of stuff for me it's a puffer but i can imagine for some people would be a leather jacket this particular leather jacket i bought it actually i like it wasn't the last five years i actually bought this three years ago Ooh, dear, yeah i haven't bought a single thing maybe in the last three years sorry three years not five years but this was my last thing that i purchased but if i was to purchase all of these again i will purchase it in this order personally but anyway this one i have never heard of the brand i'm not going to try and pronounce it but this is the brand and the reason i love this puffer is because number one the color it's a nice neutral beige i did want a lighter color just a lighter color that I don't know it's just a nice change for me because at the time i already have a black one which you'll see next you'll, you'll see at the end of the video you'll see how everything ties up but anyway it was a nice light color that was very different for me also i needed a hood so this is what i mean by casual it has a hood it's detachable 
which is perfect because on a nice cold day, frosty day that's not raining, you could get rid of your hood. I like it. With your casual one, you would like it to be somewhat weatherproof, somewhat durable because it's casual. It's the one that you're going to be most rough with. Another thing for me is that because I'm going to be rough with this coat, you really kind of want it to be easy to clean as well. So hence the leather. It's not real leather, it's vegan leather. Um, I was going to say vegetarian leather. <laughs> Uh, it's vegan leather. The things that made me pull the trigger on this jacket is two. First one, it was ribbed. I like a good ribbed puffer jacket. It's very different. And the second thing, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the back. They give you a bum curve. I don't know if you knew this was a thing. I didn't know it was a thing, but can you see? I got a full blown bum curve, which means if you know you wake up one morning and your butt is just not really giving it, this will help you out. Well, either it will help you out or will really emphasize. I don't know, you can decide in, the, in this. This is coat number two. I absolutely love this coat. Whenever I want to feel cool, and I, I'm being dead serious here, whenever I want to feel cool, <laughs> I put this coat on. Coat number three. Now you got your classic, you got your casual. Now we're going to go for the structure. I love a beautiful structured coat. I just think there's something about a structured coat that makes it very oh head turning for me if i see someone in a structured coat ooh, my head's gonna be turning 180 degrees my third coat is this this my friend i know i know i know i know i know it's very very dusty like i haven't got round cleaning my coats okay we just came back from summer and winter came without even an announcement and I'm here with all my coats, just, I haven't got a time to clean it, okay? And I will, when I get my life together, I will go and clean them, I promise. But for now, pretend you don't see the dust. This coat, if I told you there was a coat that I bought on a whim, I, and I never, I don't buy coats, no, especially when I go to a store. This is the first coat I've ever purchased in a store without the intention of buying a coat. Do you know how big that means for me? I never do this. I can't think of a situation where I went to a store and just purchased something without even planning it. This coat was magic for me. This coat. Mm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me just, let me just, you know, behave myself. Okay. This coat is double breasted. Okay, so it covers like that. It stinches you in the waist. There's no waist belt, but <clears throat> stinches you in the waist and then it flares out. It flares out. Do you know what it means? What it means when it flares out? It just means when things start flaring out and it's structured, you can have a baby belly, you can have a food belly, you can have anything, you can have a fat belly under there. No one's gonna see it. No one is going to see your belly, okay? And I, I am like an apple pear shape. When I eat, it goes straight there. When I gain weight, it goes, my, my waist is the first thing to go and it's very upsetting, but it is what it is. But this coat, this coat, the back of this coat, the seams, can you see? how beautiful this is. This coat, I will say it's a borderline coat slash jacket, but this coat is truly something beautiful. I bought this coat from All Saints and I got it in a size 10. This is a elegant classic. Also not to mention that it actually works best with a dress. Why is that important? For me, it's important because I do wear dresses. When I want to look good, I tend to go for a dress. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that you can wear a gown underneath because trust me, I've tried it and it looks hideous, hideous. But if you've got like a knee length dress or like a mini dress, put on some black tights, some black boots and you have got yourself, you are looking amazing in it. I don't care who you are, you will look amazing in this coat. If you want to know the material of this, it is 80% wool, 20% polyamide, body lining, viscose, and 37% cotton. And then the sleeve lining is 100% polyester. It is honestly a beautiful coat. I cannot, I know I said I wasn't gonna recommend any coat, but if I was to recommend anyone a coat, 
it has to be this. That was my rant for coat number three. Honestly, I I love this coat. Right, on to talking on the next one. Wait until I talk about the next one because uh, the fourth one is a statement coat. <sighs> this is my favorite category because this is where all rules goes. You buy whatever you want. You buy something that you love like you are looking at that coat and you're like i am in love with that coat this coat is mine i don't care whether it's a zebra print i don't care if it's a leopard print i don't care if it's bright yellow i want this coat and this is my coat okay if it's too much <laughs> you don't care you go and get you get the coat that your heart desires and for me the equivalent to that is dun dun da <laughs> this is my red coat my statement coat i love the color red i love the color red and i love the color fuchsia this kind of richness you can tell me that this coat is just too much for everything and i will still wear it on a day if i want to look good this coat is a wrap coat technically it's a wrap coat hidden in a coat it's not a proper wrap coat because it's relatively thick but the way it's designed you can see that there are some slight whatever drape you want to call it on the neckline it is a relatively soft coat compared to like the last structured one the color mm, this the color was my statement i love the whole structure of it i thought it worked so well with the color because when the color is really statementy for me at least i would like someone just to balance it out a little bit because otherwise i will feel a little for me, this is why for me is a little too much. This I could work with this. I go out there and I feel like a million bucks. But if this was a red structured coat, oh, I think it might be a little bit loud for me. But for some people, if you're there saying that, you know what? A bright red fire engine structured coat looks phenomenal. You go and do that. You do you, you do what makes you happy. You can see there's a little bit of tailoring, not much, not as obvious as the structured one. But you can see it still kind of stinches you in a bit. This has a belt. Like I said, it's a wrap, so it's nice and big. This is actually, believe it or not, a size eight. But it looks relatively big. Um, it has pockets. And let me tell you, this coat is incredibly warm. Let me show you the materials on this. The materials might not, I actually don't know what the materials are for these coats. So this is actually the first time me reading them out to you. Okay, so this is probably why it was so warm. It is 46% alpaca, 36% wool, and 18% polyamide slash nylon. This coat I purchased from Hobbs a very long time. I think it was, this was honestly about five years ago. It was during the time when I was just spending for no reason. I was going through a whole situation in my life and spending was my outlet do i regret it yes do i regret this purchase no but this one was so beautiful i love how this is the panel at the front it is a single breasted so it just well actually over here it shows double but i promise you it's pretty much just single and then yeah you wrap it around it is full length to my calves my go-to for this coat is normally when it's freezing beyond recognition when i can no longer feel my toes my fingers whatever layer i put on nothing works this is when i put this on and i promise you i am a nice little hot marshmallow going out in the snow it is great okay i'm living my best life this coat i absolutely love and this is why i mean for you get your statement coat get one that's it doesn't have to be warm this is the point it doesn't have to be warm mine just happened to be super super warm for you as long as it's something that you feel the best in you feel like it's showing your personality then get that coat so that was coat number four coat number five like i said it's a bonus you don't have to have it if you're happy with your four coats lovely leave it to be completely honest for me i would be relatively happy with it but i do love my fifth coat and my fifth coat kind of splits into two. I'm gonna also talk about, you know, my leather jacket and I'm gonna to explain to you why. This is why I don't tell people what to buy. <laughs> so, coat number five is your classic with a twist. Let me explain. When I say it's a classic, I don't mean your specific, literally coat number one with a twist. What I mean is any classic out there, okay? It could be a trench coat, it could be a wrap coat, it could be a, what I was near said, panda bear coat. It was those teddy bear coats. 
whichever classic it is for you get that with a twist so you can get it in a different color you can get it in a different piping that's the time that you can get it my one for some people it might be a classic depending how bold you are but because it was in a mustard for me that was a twist because okay let's put it like this i love beautiful bold colors i love dressing up i love a statement piece trust me i i love looking stunning but the days that i have wanted to look like that in public is extremely extremely rare therefore this for me is my classic with a twist which is basically a knee length this time trench coat because i realize i don't really have any short coats i love long coats but I don't have a short one, so it's quite useful to have a short one for me. And the twist here is obviously the colour, the mustard colour. This colour for me, it's enough for me to feel blend in and not have too much attention on me. This is a mustard colour. I feel like mustard is a really nice between colour because if you squint really hard, almost looks like a brown or a beige or camel, depending on it. If it's really autumn-y, you won't even notice the colour. If you actually think about it, it is a mustard colour. I mean, it is a it is a pretty yellowy colour, but it's understated enough, as in it's muted enough where it's not gonna grab any attention from people. Again, the different buttons for me is also a bit of a statement piece. It is double-breasted. I got this from Hobbs. I got this again, I think five, six years ago. I bought all my clothes, honestly, all in one go. Not on purpose, but like I said, at the time I was really kind of in one heck of a headspace. This one, I don't know much about the material, but 96% cotton, 4% elastane, and lining is 100% polyester. I will have to dry clean every single coat I have, by the way, because none of them are really washable. But anyway, the back looks like this. It has a very nice belt, and you have a nice statement back button as well. But that's essentially it. That is... The coat, oh, I've never noticed this, never noticed this, but quite like it. And I got this in a size eight. So that was my particular coat. I'm gonna give you a bonus piece of items because I don't want you buying a coat that you regret. And I'm here to show you this one. This one, okay, you can tell me it's a hideous jacket. I will tell you you're lying, okay? I am fully aware this jacket is a piece of art. The color, a nice deep plum. The style, a very nice quilted, almost looks like that Chanel quilt. The design, I would say it's not too ruggy. Very, very relatively classic. I would still say classic in terms of leather jacket scent, very classic. There's not a lot of embellishment, just very simple. A zip here, zips, two zip on the side, relatively symmetrical. The back, nothing going on, no frills, none of these stuff. I have been eyeing on this jacket for the longest, about a year, and bless my partner Will, for Christmas he's decided to get me this jacket. Now bear in mind, before this I didn't have a jacket. I didn't have a leather jacket. I just wanted to be cool. I just, every girl I've met had pulled off a leather jacket and oh boy did I want one. I want to be that badass, okay? So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have one of these. I'm gonna, I, I barely even wear sunglasses. You know when you have this and usually people who wear this is usually associated to, you know, motorcycles. I can't even ride a bicycle, like a bicycle, those, those, ding, 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 excuse me. That, those ones, you know, if I'm not careful, a little basket at the front, I can't even ride that, okay? And I'm thinking that I was gonna pull off this, this, let me tell you, okay? When I first got it, I thought it didn't fit quite right because, you know, it was a size 8, okay? I, you know, when I gained a bit, I could look a bit fluffy, okay? And I could very much go into my size 10, which is perfectly fine. But this, you need to have, like, structured bones. Structured and not that much fat going on, okay? So m muscles, muscles around your bones. Not much fat and then lay off skin. You also need to have a somewhat, I would say, either a mature or like a... You can't be looking like a two-year-old wearing this coat is what I'm trying to say. Okay, that's, that's essentially what I'm saying. When I don't wear makeup, I still get, I still get ID'd, okay? It's a blessing. I'm not, I'm not here complaining, but I, I do get ID'd. And I have, 
I have while I was working with my colleague being rejected alcohol because I did not have my ID, okay? They refused to serve me. I just look like an imposter. I look like someone who's trying to be, I look like a nerd trying to join a popular group. Always buy stuff that feels right to you. Would I sell this jacket? No, because it's nice to look at. I love the jacket. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit and tell you that I don't. I love it, even though I know fully well that it does not suit me. I'm still convinced that at some point in the future I might be able to pull it off. I might have an occasion where I do need to wear a jacket. But this is my lesson, and hopefully that you can learn this lesson from me. That if there's something that you just don't suit, that you don't feel good in it, listen to yourself. Don't force it, because for every item that doesn't suit you, there are 10 more items that look stunning on you. That is built for you. So, so honestly, don't feel upset about it. It is what it is, but I hope this video helps. I love making these videos because I get to talk about the clothes that I have, and I do absolutely love these clothes. I love my coats, I love my dress, I love my trousers, and I love everything about clothes. <laughs> if you have your favorite coat, or if you know there's a coat that you really, really want, Please link it down below. I would love to see it because I, I just I just want to know. I'm a nosy person. I'd love to know. Please comment your thoughts, your ideas, what you thought in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next week. Bye.